what is going on youtube Kerno here and welcome back to another tower fantasy video so today just got a quick little uh, i guess patch note reading for you guys about the vera update we finally got the patch notes for that I'm super excited to go through those because it has some pretty dope info uh, i'm not going to really see yes the usual spiel we're just going to jump directly into this so let's go ahead and get those patch notes pulled up so we've got our patch notes pulled up here just a quick heads up it looks like maintenance period is going to be from 6 to 9 utc I believe this is going to be AM. Uh, I guess I'm guessing UTC is always in 24 hour format, which means this is like like one to five for me, which is kind of crazy. But we'll have to see how this works. I think it's like two to five or something like that. Nah, basically, I, th I think that's right for UTC for EST. Yeah, something along those lines. Anyway, just let you know, log out, mobile updates will be as usual. But what are we getting in the 2.0 update? So first off, we've got the new map, the Vera sector, including cyberpunk cities such as Muria. In the gray space areas, uh, they're adding a function that makes you that makes uh, adding a function that makes you so you. I'm assuming this is translation. Makes so you can skip um, Asperia to start in Vera. Now, a lot of Steam players have said that you can jump into Vera at like level 13. I'm guessing this is that function. So that's pretty cool. New story, Land of Sand, dope. New story is always really good. New simulacrum, Ruby and Ruby's matrices, awesome, awesome. We're gonna talk about Ruby in a future video. Probably right before Vera comes out. I think it's gonna be the morning of Vera's coming out, so stay tuned for that. A uh, level cap increased to 80 with corresponding rewards. This is gonna be interesting. So I wonder if this is like gonna immediately push the cap to 80, meaning we can farm a bunch of experience immediately. I believe you want to push to like 40 or to 74 almost instantly. But this is gonna be kind of crazy for our weapons and things like that. I'm actually Oh, I need a farm. <laughs> I'm actually now I'm concerned. I need a farm for my weapons and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, new equipment unlock combat engine, so we are getting even stronger with the combat engines. That's super dope. So that's with the raid stuff. New instances, including the end game and the sadness valley. I believe these are the two new join ops. And then more difficulty levels available for instances and the raid. Raid hard mode is coming out, and let me just really quick show you guys something about raid. So when 2.0 releases, we'll be getting another tier for the raid itself. We're going to be in the hard mode for these. In case you're curious, hard mode is the uh, is a separate loot lockout from the normal mode. But once raids come out, this is act or the next raids comes out. This is actually going to be changing over to an out of three system, meaning you only be able to do three raids. I'm not sure it does anything about it here. No, okay. So you only be able to do three raids per week, and the normal mode and the hard mode count towards attempts, right? So if you say do normal and hard mode of medieval level, that's two of your three attempts for the week. You definitely want to save those attempts considering the new raid that's coming out is going to actually uh, require you to beat the normal mode and then the hard mode. Now, there is a chance that when 2.0 comes out, these all reset because of the whole, you know, the whole new system itself. But it's kind of up to you whether or not you want to take that chance. I'm going to opt to go ahead and like leave this as is. But it's worth mentioning that there's not a guarantee that this is going to reset or not going to reset. I'm going to stay on the safe side. Just go ahead and wait to do your raids. I'm personally going to wait to do my raids. The only thing you tend to gain from doing them early is getting extra energy dust, so extra gold dust and extra clusters. So nothing too crazy there. I guess while we're mentioning, we'll talk and talk about it really quick right now. In case you guys missed my video where I talked about the milestone rewards, uh, these are going to be changing. These are going to be updating and changing over, so these will reset. It's OK to go ahead and grab these. They've already confirmed it in more than one. Uh, basically, people have sent in messages to the uh, the support team where they confirmed it and sent back information about how this is going to reset. Specifically, they said milestone rewards, which these have been the milestone rewards. So other they haven't mentioned other weeklies, and it is even talked about in the update itself. So the patch notes does talk about changing a few other things. So it's worth mentioning that these have already confirmed that change, but we haven't confirmed anything else. All right, back over in the patch notes, we have wormhole level 75 opening up. We have dimensional trial six, space time domain six opening up. Uh, rewards for some instances are adjusted, so they did mention some of these instances that have certain rewards are going to be changed for the 2.0 update, basically. Uh, it's probably just going to be getting them more in line with CN's release, and they had some update changes that happened in 2.0 as well, so that's more than likely what that's referring to. New office system for Mia. Uh, when you complete a certain story quest, you'll be able to have Mia follow along behind you, and she's going to have some outfits. They mentioned two outfits for free. I believe it was her maid and her dress-up outfit, so... Those are super cool. If I remember, I'll try to leave a you know a picture in the video itself. But you know, I forget things in editing. Hopefully, I don't forget that. Uh, character sex change card available in store. This allows you to change the sex of your character. 
you actually swap over all of your outfits when you swap sex over so it's not a huge deal in case like you know you want to go from male to a female character that's totally fine any outfits you unlock any outfits you've purchased you will just get the female or the male version basically the counterpart based on what you swap to a new event called a fresh start for players entering a server that has been up for 30 days and creating a new character basically giving incentive for jumping into another server um, that's already been up for a while and creating a new character and then of course a special event called the stellar restart for lapsed players i'm assuming this is just the counterpart to this event for players who are playing on their regular character that they have um support rewards and stores available for new players that participate in team ups i don't really know what this is referring to specifically this might be like a cn thing but it looks like there'll be a store for um for playing with like returning players and new players and stuff like that so that's pretty cool a uh, new daily varen bounties so there are going to be two sets. Well, it's going to be one set of bounties, but for two zones. There are Vera bounties and Aspera bounties. You can choose which ones you actually want to do amongst the two that sets that you have. I'm told that they're basically the same rewards, but the Aspera ones are easier. I'm probably just going to do the Vera bounties just because, you know, content in general. Bounties have never been that difficult in the first place. So I'll just do the Vera ones, but we'll have to see once they come out. And then a bunch of fixed issues, so increased rewards for purple dust and orange dust in some battles. That's pretty cool. Some more dust. Optimize the method to guide wanderers in missions for four level 40. Included the dodge effect prescription, right? A dodge effects description for the flame revolver. Six skill description. Okay, so this is something to do with cobalt's weapon. Uh, fixed conditions that unleash the terminator discharge attack. Okay, again, with weapon itself. Controller related updates. I... <laughs> Here is hoping that fixes some optimization for controller because it's pretty terrible at the moment. Um, there's some things that just straight up don't work, uh, to be perfectly honest. So hopefully that changes that. Optimized uh, bench of optimizations, basically. Uh, model performances, mistranslations. Optimized difficulty levels for some raids. That's pretty cool. So adjusting some difficulty levels. Let's we'll see how that works out. Optimized weekly dark crystal rewards for sequential phantasm. So 2.0... Well, I guess CN in general and the other servers have a different reward structure than we currently have in Sequential. I'm thinking this is updating to that reward structure. Now, some people are opting to not collect the rewards from Sequential because of this. Now, we don't have a guarantee whether or not this is going to change over. So you're basically playing a bit of a gamba. Do you pick up your rewards in the event that they swap to the new updated version of the Sequential and then you get a second chance of rewards? Or do you leave your rewards in case that when they do update and swap over, you can't claim them a second time basically you lose out on those rewards we don't know there is no guarantee one side or the other and we really can't base it on previous servers because they have done things different beforehand so just understand it's a bit of a gamba you might be in the camp of people that decide to hold off might be in the camp of people that decide to try to double dip we'll have to see how it works out um optimize boss respawn time in rewards in artificial island so this is what we were looking at beforehand when artificial island originally came out on cn they had the reward, they had the respawn system we currently have right now. And then in 2.0 and later on, it updated to just being a weekly thing, which in my opinion is so much better. I hate, you know, having to think about do, running around on my island every so often, every couple of days, or, you know, thinking about what was the day that I killed all the bosses or whatever. They set it to a weekly respawn. This is supposed to be that as well. I don't know if that means that they're going to like have everything respawn after the servers reset. So again, this is a gamba. Do you wait? Do you kill everything? It's up to you. I'm going to personally be killing everything on my island. I've already done it. So we'll have to see how that works out. And I'll let you guys know in a follow up video. Optimize weekly activity missions and rewards and the weekly activity progress and rewards will be reset after the update. So this one specifically says it's going to be reset, right? So you can use this as a way of saying, oh, well, these don't say these are going to update. Maybe I should hold off again. We're talking to still a gamba. It's up to you. So yeah, weekly activity missions and rewards and the weekly activity progress and rewards will be reset up to the update. So that's super cool. These are all again, these are things that I will tell you because people are getting really upset over like one YouTuber says to do this, one YouTuber says to do that. This is why they're saying to do these sorts of things. But it's worth mentioning that unless it's 100% guaranteed, I'm not going to tell you you have to do one thing or another. I'm going to let you know what could be a gamba, what could be good, what could be bad. So it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to go for it. If it were me, um, I would probably hold off on almost everything, collect your weekly rewards and, you know, hold off on your raids. That's like the safest thing you can do across the board. Picking up stuff ahead of time is a bit of a gamba, but again, it's up to you. The rewards later are going to be better. So if it's a situation where you're like, I don't know what's my better choice. Wait, the later rewards technically are better. So there you go. And then compensation looks to be uh, 
three, six, eight, 900 dark crystals, three vitality solutions, a sex change card and a space orientator. So dope. That looks to be pretty awesome. Not too shabby for uh, for patch notes. I'm actually pretty excited when I see. We do have one other thing that I'm going to pull up. So just a quick sec. So with 2.0 launch, we also have a streaming challenge. So the registration period is from the 17th until the 20th. The event starts on the 20th, of course. Um, but you can see we have community rewards to stream during these two uh, duration, uh, basically milestone rewards. As long as you stream up to a certain amount, you have rewards. And then, of course, they have the cumulative amount, which is essentially how much you get if you stream the entire time. So for four hours, it's 300 dark crystals. Eight hours, you get an extra 200. 12 hours, you get an extra 500. Six hours, you get an extra 500. So a total of up to 1,500 dark crystals. I'm now sending rewards. So one influencer could only get one or get resources from one track of below. So top one is 3,500 USD. That's kind of wild. Yeah, so it basically shows how much you can get for uh, each of these. Top 15 is 200. This is pretty dope, honestly. Uh, we'll have to see how this works out. But this is just from the streaming leaderboard or the streaming leadership board. So super, super cool. Let's see how that works out. I mean, like, honestly, eh, I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> No, uh, like, uh, you know, the rich are going to get richer in this one. I'll be honest with you. Okay, I'm looking at you. Um, start of the moment, top live view count, total viewership. Uh, so the total viewership of the streaming, you've got top five, six to 10 and 11 to 15. And then binge streaming realm is just total hours watched. Basically going to be good for people just streaming a long amount of time overall. Maybe if you don't have a huge audience, you just stream a shit ton and then, you know, have a chance of getting some of these rewards. And of course, there's the Twitch bounty board. Um, this is for the the Art FR streamers. Yeah, um, they'll be able to participate in roll with getting rewards directly from Twitch. We also have Twitch drops. So watching up to four hours will get you all of these. Uh, looks like a black nucleus, a title, 50 dark crystals, five relic shard boxes. I saw relic shard boxes, so five of them random. Another 100 dark crystals uh, looks like another 10 SR Relic Shard boxes at a random, a Golden Nucleus, another 15 SR Relic Shard boxes at random. I'm not sure if this is cumulative or how much you get each time, uh, but it doesn't say cumulative, so I guess it's just each time. And then you get 15, a Red Nucleus, and then a Raging Sand Ring. So that's super cool. So we'll have Twitch drops enabled. Basically, we'll be able to, uh, to provide you guys some extra bonuses for hanging out with the rest of us, and we'll be streaming a ton. Um, I guess I can go ahead and mention this now since it is worth uh, worth talking about. So hold on one sec. So for those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually part of the IDA program, meaning that we have some awesome free key giveaways yet again. In case you're curious how I do my key giveaways, usually one of two different ways. Either it's during stream, I drop keys directly in the chat. So technically you don't have to be able to follow the channel to be able to get a chance to get the keys, though it is appreciated and I would like it very much. If you were to follow the channel, you absolutely do not have to to get a hold of those keys. So just have the stream open when we're streaming. We're going to be live. Thursday is a bit of a toss up at the very latest. We'll be live by 530 EST. Um, if we can be earlier, we will be live earlier. It's just a day that I work and I really can't guarantee anything just yet. But um, following that, Friday, 5.30 again, if we can't be alive any sooner. Saturday, same thing. And then Sunday, most of the day, as well as Monday, most of the day there too. So I have a ton of TOF streaming coming up for the week. We'll be giving out free codes. The codes, you can only redeem up to three total. They'll be the same codes that a lot of other consecrators are also giving out. So just having multiple streams up is probably going to be your best interest. But I will tell you that the more people in those streams, the harder it is for you to possibly win a code. Um, but yeah, we'll be just dropping them in chat. I'll be also dropping them in my Discord. So if you aren't in Discord, maybe you can, I mean, if you're not in Discord now, maybe you can't catch a stream, join the Discord. Link is in the video description. I'll probably be dropping a couple keys in there as well. We do have a good chunk of them. I'll be streaming alongside the skulls and we'll just be throwing keys out into our chat as time goes on. So hopefully you guys get a chance to win those. Uh, as far as the keys, it's like one gold nucleus. And I believe this time around it's a, uh, a gift box. So not as good as my opinion as the SR Relic Shard boxes, but those were random anyway, so you couldn't really guarantee what you got from them. It was just a nice little bonus. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to toss in the comments below. Let me know what you guys are excited for when it comes to Vera. I personally cannot wait for Saki to get here. I want the core of my team finally. That way I can stop just using Frig for damage all the time. Um, again, we'll be talking about Ruby in a follow-up video that should be out 
either right when 2.0 comes out or just a little bit before 2.0 comes out. So keep an eye out for that. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe to keep up with more and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace out.